Hi everyone, it's Lindy on from Pink Whisper Designs. Today I've got a really pretty tropical card to show you. We're going to be using the Lawn Fawn Build a Drink set and we'll also be creating this as a shaker card. So let's go ahead and take a look at the die set that we're going to be using today. And this is called the Lawn Fawn Build a Drink set. And you can see that it's got that glass in it. It's got the under portion of the glass and the overlay. You get some fruits, you get a leaf, you get that really cute little tropical umbrella, some ice cubes and a fern, and you also get a straw with this. And there's just an example on the back of what you can create. Now I also want to show you the Build-A-Drink add-on set, and this has a different shape of glass to it. You also get a strawberry, a cherry, and that little pick for the fruit. Now, I will be doing a card on this coming up shortly, so keep an eye out for that. I'm not using that set today, but I did want to show it to you, and I will be listing all the products, including that add-on set, down below the video and also on my blog. To create the liquid for our drink, I've got the ombre ink pads from Hero Arts, and the one on the right is called Red to Purple, and it's a neon ink pad. And the one on the left is called Mermaid, which is some really pretty blues. I've got my Distress Brayer from Tim Holtz. This is a two and a quarter inch brayer. And to lay it on your table, it's got some little feet there so you can keep it protected. You don't want to lay it flat on the roller to store it. It could get some flat marks on it. So you do want to keep it on that little stand if possible. Now you notice I'm only going in one direction to pick up the ink. You don't want to roll back and forth. You will get lines. And in order to avoid those lines, the best thing to do is roll it in one direction on your ink pad and then shift that brayer every so often just so that you're not repeating that same pattern over and over again. So you can see me there just reaching in and shifting that brayer like a quarter of a turn. And that's going to smooth out that ink a little bit better. Now I know I need a little bit more color, so I'm going to just take the brayer right along the bottom edge of that ink pad, and then I'll apply the rest of the ink. And I do want to get some overlapping. What's nice about these ink pads is that the colors are right together on the pad, so you don't get that gap that you can sometimes get. So it's pretty easy to blend those colors together. I'm just checking to see if I've got enough color to complete the, the liquid for my drink. Now I'm spritzing my glass media mat with a little bit of water from my Distress Sprayer and I'll go ahead and spatter that panel. That's going to give it a little bit more texture to that drink and I just blotted up any excess. Now I'm taking that ink pad and I'm just rubbing it right onto my glass media mat so I'll get all three colors that way. And then I'm going to add a little bit of water to that and spatter those three colors on to this panel. Again, just looking for some more texture and interest to that drink. Now, I did off camera do the other one in the blues. And I wasn't sure at this point in time which one I was going to like. So I created both of these, but I did end up using the one on the left hand side. I'm also adding a little bit of the liquid stardust from Lawn Fawn. I placed some of that on my glass medium mat. I'm adding a little bit of water and then I'll spatter that onto these panels as well. And you can see how beautiful that looks. Let's go ahead and die cut the glass. This is the liquid for the glass. So I grab that little die from that same set and that'll just kind of make the liquid not be straight across at the top, just like it has a little bit of movement to it. You can just cut it straight across if you prefer that. I've got my metallic cardstock in the holographic. These, this is a pack of all these different holographic patterns, and I know it's a little bit hard to look at, I think, but I did want to show you what is included in that pack. We're going to grab this one here, and that will be the glass. I just thought it would be really pretty to have that sparkle and shine on the edges of the glass. So that's going to cut the frame for the glass. And again, our liquid is going to sit right behind that. 
I've got some Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock, which is what we use to do the pretty pink background. And I'm going to die cut a whole bunch of these frames. I'm going to be stacking them one on top of the other. So I think I probably have six or eight of these there. Again, I want to make a shaker card and I want to make sure that it's thick enough for my little shaker elements to sit down inside there. You could also use some foam tape here instead, but I just thought it would look really nice if I just stacked up these layers. So now I have those all glued together and now I'm just adding that liquid to the background. In order to make the shaker card, we're going to grab some Lawn Fawn Clear Acetate. And then I'll take this die and we're going to die cut two pieces of acetate, one for the front of the shaker card and one for the back. I do like to run it through a couple of times. I'm using the Sizzix Sidekick machine just to make sure it cuts completely through that acetate. So I've got my two pieces. One is going to go on the back. So let's go ahead and glue that down. For the adhesive today, I'm using the Nuvo Deluxe Adhesive. And we'll just place plenty of that around the back and we can glue down the acetate. And then this creates a little pocket now because remember we have several layers of that frame. So I've got the fruit cocktail smirklets from Buttons Galore and more and these are just so pretty. All of these little fruits I'm pulling out the strawberries. I just didn't want that red color in there, so I'm just grabbing those and pulling those out. But you can certainly leave those in there if you prefer. You could also add a little glitter to this as well. So once I have that done, I like to put the acetate down just to make sure that there's enough space for all my little pieces to move around. If there's not enough space, you may want to add a couple more layers of those frames just to, again, make sure that the little shaker elements have plenty of room. So I've added the acetate, and now I want to add that little frame for the drink. But first I want to add a straw. So I'm going to grab from the Lawn Fawn Stripes and Sprinkles Petite Paper Pack this yellow color. That'll give me some really pretty stripes on that straw. I'm taping that down with a little bit of post-it tape, and I'll run that through the Sizzix Sidekick machine. Hopefully you can see that up close. Now let's go ahead and put the straw in before we put that frame layer on. What I didn't really realize as I was doing this was I really wanted the straw to be in front of that back panel. So I'll fix that a little bit later on because you'll see when I place this frame down, it makes a straw look like it's behind the glass rather than coming out the top of the glass. So don't worry about that. I'll show you a really quick fix for that here in a second. But for now, let's go ahead and glue down that frame. And I just love the sparkle on this. It's just so pretty. And for that follow-up card that I'm going to be doing with the add-ons, I'm also going to use this same cardstock because it just makes everything pop. So there you can see we have the little glass, and there you can see my straw kind of needs to be coming out of the glass, not out of the back of the glass. I've got another neon ombre ink pad from Hero Arts, and this one is called Chartreuse to Blue. Again, I'm going to use that same technique of just picking that ink up in one direction and then brayering it across my cardstock. Now, in this case, I'm not being very fussy because I actually am just going to be die cutting some of the leaves and the little ferns out of this cardstock, so I'm not worried about blending it out really well. So I just want a variety of colors and it gives me a nice variety in that ink pad of some tropical colors. So I went ahead and die cut those leaves and ferns again from that same die set. And now I'm going to use that same ink pad. I've got a panel, Strathmore Bristol Smooth cardstock panel that measures four and a quarter by five and a half. So that's the size of a standard A2 size card. 
And I'm just going to add this ink kind of in the middle, just in an oval shape around the middle. Once I have that, let's grab this die set. This is from Lawn Fawn as well. And I'm going to grab that little frame from the Secret Garden window set. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and tape that down. I'm pretty much centering it on the card and then I'm going to run that through the die cutting machine. And that will pop out the center and create a really pretty window with some tropical leaves all around the edges. I'm using my Spellbinders tool in one just to poke out some of those little extra pieces. And once we have that done, we're going to create a frame for the top of this. So that green color will sit behind the frame. I've got a piece of polka dot cardstock or sprinkles cardstock, again from the Lawn Fawn Stripes and Sprinkles cardstock. This is the petite paper pad that we used before to do the straw. And I'm going to cut this down to that same size, four and a quarter by five and a half. So let's go ahead and center that frame on this panel. Again, I've got some post-it tape just to temporarily hold that down for me. And then I could run that through the die cutting machine. I want to first check and make sure this is straight. So I've got my Miss T T ruler. These are little mini T rulers. You get two in the pack and they're so perfect for card making because they're just the right size. So I'm just making sure that is nice and straight before I run it through. And now you can see that's going to create the top frame for that background. I went back to that same secret garden window die set and I grabbed the little pieces that you used to add the colors for the flowers. I'm using that leftover brayered paper that we had from our the, the drink that we created. And I just went ahead and die cut a whole bunch of the little flower pieces. So let's add this top frame. Again, just lining these two panels up. If you need to shift it around, use some glue. It's a lot easier to slide this right into place. And if, it, if you have any sticking out from behind, you can just use your scissors and trim that away. So don't worry if it doesn't line up perfectly with that A2 size panel. You can always cut down that background piece if you need to. Now these are the little pieces that we die cut out and I'm going to add those to this frame. And this just adds so much. I mean this pop of this pinky color is just beautiful. And I love the variety that that ombre ink pad gives you. It's really easy to determine where to place your little pieces. So I'm just going to fill all of those in. I've got my little pick up tool to pick those up and then place those down. It just makes it a lot easier. Let's grab a few more of those leaves and flowers. Just going to create a little flower arrangement on the top of the glass. And then once we place this on the card, we'll add a few more, a few more bits of that greenery around just to fill in. I'm going to add three little flowers right here in the front. Now let's go ahead and add that back panel. So that's the piece that we cut out earlier. And I want to add a little shadow around this. I just want to add a little bit of color just to give it a little bit more interest. And I'm going to my Hero Arts ink pad. And this one is called Lemon Drop and it's just so pretty. So I'm using a foam applicator tool and you can see that adds a nice little shadow back there. 
I'll also go all the way around the edges of this cardstock. I'm really just trying to bring your eye into the center of the card where our drink is. So I've got that glue. Let's go ahead and glue these two pieces together. I'm putting plenty of glue on all those little petals. I don't want anything to pop up, especially as you're pulling the card in and out of the envelope. I want to make sure this little section is glued down nicely. And then we'll add that background piece. And don't worry about lining that up perfectly because it's the rest of it isn't going to show. Just that piece that is showing through the window. Let's make a standard A2 size card. I've got a piece of cardstock that measures four and a quarter by 11 inches, and I've scored it at five and a half inches. So this will fit right over top. We can go ahead and glue these two together. And I'm just lining that up with the table, just makes it easier just to make sure it's on there nice and straight. Now we've got the little drink and I'm going to place this down with some double-sided adhesive. This is from scrapbook.com. This is the quarter inch tape. I just thought I wanted to use something really secure for this portion. And I'm just hiding it behind the liquid on our drink. And then I'll add a little bit of glue around the top frame on the top of the drink glass. I've got my Cricut weeding tool. I like to just press down the backing with that tool and then pull up the backing. It just goes really fast when you do it that way. Now let's go ahead and center this on our card. Make sure we press that down nicely. For the sentiment, I'm going to the S'more the Merrier stamp set. And I'm going to grab that one that says, let's toast to your birthday. I just thought this would make a really pretty birthday card. So I'm going back to the red to purple ink pad, and I'm going to ink this up in two sections. I'll do the first half and then the second half because I want to get that variety of color. I'm pressing that out lightly. I've placed it in my mini misty stamp positioner, and you can see that really pretty color combination that we get on our sentiment. Now I've got the small mini slimline stackable dies from Lawn Fawn and this will have a pretty stitch edge around it so I'm going to tape that down just again making sure that's nice and straight and then we'll run that through the die cutting machine. Let's go back to that quarter inch double sided tape. I've removed the backing and we'll line that up right underneath that frame. And I'm just centering it there down at the bottom. Now I've got some really pretty little gems. These are from Pink Fresh Studio. And these are just beautiful. They have a beautiful sparkle to them. And they are called the ombre drops, which coordinates really well with the ombre ink pads we've been using today. And this color is called twilight. Let's go back to those little tropical leaves and ferns that we cut out earlier. And we're going to add a few more. I'm just going to take a variety of these and tuck them in here and there. I do want to fill in the bottom left-hand side of this drink a little bit more. I just wanted to give it the look that it's kind of like sitting in all of these tropical leaves. So I'm just going to kind of fuss around with this and you can cut these down if you need to. And then again, I'm just going to kind of fill in this area. And as I mentioned earlier, I'll be doing the Lawn Fawn Build a Drink add-on set. So keep an eye out for that. We're going to create a really pretty tropical scene with the water and the sky and then the sand and some seashells. So it's gonna be really cute and fun. And we'll be using the brand new stencil from Lawn Fawn as well to create that one. I'm just adding a little bit of glitter from my Wink of Stella gl clear glitter pen. And here I'm just pointing out that I just cut that little section of the straw and added it over top of the one that was there. So it now looks like it's coming out of the center of the glass. 
So that makes me feel a lot better. Um, and I added some glitter to that as well. So let's take a closer look at this finished shaker card, which I just, it just makes me happy. I don't want summer to end, so I, I just want to stretch it out by creating a couple more little summer cards before we get too far down the road. And I really hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you don't miss that next video on the Lawn Fawn Build-A-Drink add-on. I hope you all have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.